Welcome back. Okay, so next up is the piping. I'm going to be assembling the uh, PVC for the giant protein skimmer sitting over there. Well, at least I think it's giant. Well, you experts probably think it's tiny compared to your awesome setups. But anyway, um, what I've done here is I've kind of laid everything out. Um, you can see little black marks on all the PVCs. Those are actually numbers. So I have uh, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4. Um, you know, 11, 11, so on, so I can see how everything's going to fit together. Um, I have decided to use three gate valves, um, and I'm also using three couplings. Um, I'm really a fan of this coupling idea. I'll explain a little bit more about that later. Um, I do have another coupling there and another coupling there. I'm going to start putting things together here. Um, I'll cut to a video of that in a little bit. Okay, so uh, this is the pipework done for the protein skimmer. Uh, this is the protein skimmer return, actually. So the way this water is going to flow is um, water is going to come into the sump right here. It's going to flow out through here. This is my gate valve, uh, so I can control the flow or cut it off completely. This is my coupling. I can undo this and remove this water will flow into the pump here we'll go through a hose up and around to right around here on the protein skimmer uh, go through here blah 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 come up um, then I hope the lighting is good here it comes out through this valve we'll come over here I you notice I have another coupling here and I'll explain that in a second comes through here uh, well, I'm not getting very good video here. Down through there, comes down here and it splits. And the reason why I have the splitting here is that this is a one and a half inch pipe, and these openings here that were pre-drilled holes are one inch. So I didn't want to reduce the flow. So what I just did was I've got the one inch coming down and splitting into two, or the one and a half inch splitting into two one inches. Um, again, you'll see that. I went with the gate valves and the couplings here. Um, the reason why I have all these couplings is that, say I need to make a change here, um, I can undo these couplings and remove this whole section without having to remove this stuff. I can leave that the way it is. Um, another thing you'll notice is I did leave a little bit of gap here. Um, that's in case the day comes that I need to do some major work and I need to get in there with a saw. I didn't want to have to get too close. I can just I'll have a little bit of room to cut through here. Um, pull this off, pull everything else off. Hopefully I won't ever have to get to that point. I have not water tested this, um, so um, we'll see how that goes. As you'll see, there is another coupling here, so that means I can remove this entire section, or I can detach the protein skimmer right at this point, of course another gate valve, and just take the protein skimmer off for maintenance or for whatever reason. This whole process took me about two and a half hours. I'll probably test it for water um, tomorrow to see if it's all watertight. Hopefully it is. I hope I didn't waste all this effort. Um, if it's something that needs major reconstruction, thanks to the gate valves, or the uh, not the gate valves, but the um, couplings, I can just take apart various sections of this and put it back together. So. Here's what it all looks like. Hopefully I'll be able to do a video tomorrow of uh, water actually in the system and only in the system. Thanks for watching.